Let's start off with your guitar, the guitar that you play, and why do you why do you play through that one? Well, I have a uh, an Epiphone Wayne Static Flying V. They make that especially for you. It's it's available at retail as well. It's based on the Gibson Flying V. I made some really cool changes, simplified it, sort of to to work for what I do. Um, you can check it out. It's a badass guitar. I play through Marshall amps. I've been uh, two of her records we did with the old school Valve State, and then uh, lately I've been playing live with the MG series. It's all I use all solid state, solid state Marshall. It's uh, it's got lots of gain, consistent. We use all Electro Voice microphones in the studio and on tour, and we also use the wireless systems for our guitar. They make a digital wireless system. That we, we roll into a venue. I mean, we play in like a different town every day. So we roll into a venue. You push scan. It finds the clearest channel in the area without the you know no bullshit interference or anything. Right. So we used to use some other wireless. I won't mention them, but Electro Voice is badass. I've always played Gibson and Epiphone. My first guitar was an Epiphone, and then I played Gibsons for a long time, and then. Um, Recently, about three years ago, I went back to Epiphone. I've been playing that, and uh, you know, check it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kiss. They played Gibson. You know what I'm saying? That's why I played Gibson. Legendary. Yes. Kiss plays Gibson because they want the best. <laughs> that was on every album. So in my mind, it's like Gibson. That is the only guitar there is. <laughs> Epiphone is part of Gibson, so it's all the same, you know what I'm saying? We Basically, when we make a record, we put the whole thing together on a sampler first. A, a skeleton of it. A framework, if you will. On a, like a workstation? I use an Akai MPC 2000. That's old school. Why that particular one? Or? Because like I like it. Like all the newer versions that are out, you know, you got like the I don't care. And... I don't care. I, I'm not into new shit. I'm into the shit that I'm used to, that's that's cool, that works for me. So I've been using the Akai for like five years now. It still works for me. So basically, I, I make demos on that. I sample everything into that. And then I use a uh, Korg Electribe MX for all my keyboard stuff. And sample that into the Korg or into the, into the Akai and put it all together. And we go in the studio, we press play, and then like there's like... All the electronic stuff is done. The only stuff we use for guitars, as far as pedals, is a Boss noise suppressor pedal. The end. It's a little white pedal. Plug in, comes out, goes straight to the amp. That's all you need. I mean, like, we don't have a lot of crazy guitar solos or anything. We just have pretty much one, like, one, straight one crushing sound. And as long as you got a good gate on there, the Boss is a really good gate. You know what? You don't have to pay a lot of money for great gear. And here, here's the thing. I'm, I'm not like full of crap or anything, but the gear I play is all very affordable. The Epiphone Flying V guitar is affordable. I play every night of my life through the cheapest amplifier that Marshall makes. It's the MG100 series, solid state, for 400 bucks. It's like a little smaller head. And then you get the mini cabinet. It's like half the price of the big cabinet. And you can rock. You don't. You, you don't have to pay a lot of money for your gear. Just just buy good stuff, and it's all in the wrist. It's all in the wrist. You know what I'm saying?